Hi, my name is Keys and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be talking about my art journey and how I started drawing. So, um, I don't have any of my sketchbooks with me at the moment, so I can't really show um, any progress pictures, but I will make another video where I can show some of my drawings um, at different point in time. All right, so, uh, my story with art actually begins in Haiti. I was, um, I, I was born in Haiti and I went to school there and um, in my school every single grade um, had only one teacher so we would just rotate the subjects throughout the day so I think that kind of made everyone in the class very close and um, as a friendly gesture between all of us we had <laughs> a little art contest and um, it was between me and this other girl I think we were the only ones who really were into art like that so um, I drew someone on a boat I'll try to recreate it um, and then she drew like this really pretty tree um, and I thought her tree was nice but I remember back then I was like so proud of my guy on the boat I thought it was the greatest thing ever um, and I just knew I really really love drawing and um, we never got to see um, the results of the contest um, because uh, the earthquake happened and then I had to stop going to school and then like you know soon after um, I moved to the Americas okay so <clears throat> after um, I came here I was very new to everything I didn't know about anime I didn't know about animated shows I didn't know about a lot of stuff so um, when I came here, I was like, whoa, you know, I was like, I was shook all over the place. Um, so it was just a time for me to get introduced to everything. And when I first arrived here, my brothers were really into Naruto. And they, um, they borrowed a lot of mangas from the um, anime <laughs> cartoon section in the library. So they had a lot of Naruto um, volumes lying around and it was the, my first introduction to anime and manga and all that stuff and i was like whoa this is some cool stuff like i was like i was shook it was like it was really nice stuff the drawings were amazing the characters were bright um and it was just it was just very nice um and it was and then soon after i kind of um got into winx club and it was my favorite thing on the planet it was amazing i was like oh my god I, I couldn't get enough of the magical girls and all that stuff and that was kind of my introduction into animation and um, cartoons and shows and all that stuff and just graphic novels which are one of my favorite things on the planet and even back then I wasn't heavy on the drawing so if I did something it was very small and it was kind of like you know isolated incidents I would draw here and there and you know not much and then um, it was whatever. And um, in elementary school, when I was in fifth grade, I moved to another school. And there was this boy in my school. His name was Jesse. And um, he he made really cool drawings. He made like, his drawings were just, um, we were still in like elementary school. So um, uh, the way I remember them, they were the best thing ever. He drew people, he drew expressions. I remember he drew this guy who was like really thirsty and he the expression he put on his face was just the best thing it was he just drew him so well and I was like I was just I was like whoa you know and back then I was just my drawings really really sucked and I really loved this guy's drawings I'd be like can I see your notebook you know can I see what you're drawing and stuff and then I would begin to like um draw like him because i really like the stuff he drew and i thought i thought he was just a really cool person um and his drawings just had so much life and expression into them and he just had this really bold style that just really spoke to you at least how i <laughs> how my little brain remembers it because i was pretty young back then um and then come middle school middle school was really hard um 
<laughs> it was a trying time and even um then i was only drawing in like notebooks i didn't really understand the concept of a sketchbook yet and um i would i would rarely ever just draw on um actual sketchbooks but just line paper or print print printer paper and stuff so you know i wasn't really into the art game yet but um in middle school i met this girl named olivia and i remember the way i was introduced to her was one day we were in line um for our class and she she was drawing in her sketchbook like she drew a lot she always had her sketchbook on her it was on her desk it was in line with her it was at lunch with her it was everywhere with her and i never i always just drew like when i was at home or when i was just not doing anything else but she drew all the time and everyone knew um she was an artist and she just she was just so unapologetic about it so um i like kind of poked my head into her sketchbook which you're not supposed to do um but um i shouldn't have done that but it was just something i was i just wanted to see what she was doing and um she she eventually talked to me and then i was like what, what are you drawing and then the stuff i saw she was drawing was um back then she was really into black butler and she drew a lot of um anime inspired stuff and she really she drew chibis really well um their heads their big heads and their small bodies she was just so great with the proportions and her characters were amazing the lines the way she shaded everything everything was so cool and i was like whoa i gotta get me i gotta get me some of this and um she i actually just really really got into drawing heavily um because of her and she told me about a lot of the shows she watched she was into italia Axis Powers and Black Butler and all these other shows. Um, she was just she was just really into anime. I never met someone who was like that much into anime before, and her drawing inspired me to draw some more. And when it came time to graduate middle school eighth grade, um, I was actually blessed because my um, my art teacher decided to give me a um, end of the year graduation gift she brought me a sketchbook it was the biggest sketchbook i've ever had um it was like um what uh 18 by 12 i'm not sure it was really big and it was like i was like whoa and it allowed me to just create so many amazing drawings uh my drawings just could get bigger and bigger and i was really into watercolor and color pencils back then and crayola markers and it really just allowed me to just go beyond with my drawings and then um my language arts teacher she um she i did really well in her class and i think we got along really well and um she also told me that um she noticed that i really really like art and uh, she she told me that she wanted to buy me some art supplies and i was like what are you crazy and then i was like oh my gosh no way and then i went to michaels.com and um i just, i was like oh my god she wants to buy me stuff i don't know what should i buy like my mind was just blowing up and i was like i don't even know what i should buy you know like oh my god all this stuff so um i had seen a lot of people talking about these big sketchbooks that are like 300 pages I was like what that exists so i wanted a 300 page sketchbook and it was about like 48 or 38 dollars i can't remember it was a lot of money in my eyes and um i set up for that some gel pens some inking pens and um these like really cheap markers that was like a set of 80 markers for like um 36 dollars and um yeah that's what happened and she bought all of them for me and she was like it was like it was i was like whoa what, seriously and then they all came from the mail and then she i saw her after class and she was like here they are and i'm like oh my god are you serious like i didn't even know what to say at the moment and then she was like i was like i don't know what to say miss thank you so much and then she was like oh don't worry about it and then she was all like i just want to see you succeed and stuff and they were just really great um and um bringing out my more artistic side and um when i got into high school i really started taking a lot of the art classes i want to take and my art got even better and better and actually in middle school um i started posting my art on instagram 
and that was like one of my eight accounts i've had like a lot of instagram social media accounts since then and um when i first started on instagram there wasn't a lot of art there wasn't as much artists as there are today it was a very it wasn't as saturated um and i was able to really see what's going on in social media i think a lot of a lot more people were on places like tumblr and um deviant art and stuff but now you know everyone is kind of on instagram and that kind of also allowed me to see what everybody else was doing and i remember the first time i saw a digital speed paint i was like that is not possible how do they do that like they were just recording themselves um doing something and paint to a sigh and they just made it look so good it was just a digital speed paint and i was like my mind is blowing up um and then as i got into high, uh, high school um i got jobs and i worked and i was able to buy more art supplies i was really into watercolors um any kind of paint painting acrylic all that stuff and it just really um helped me to expand myself as an artist and up to today um i'm in college studying to be a graphic designer and now i'm just chilling and making youtube videos and i draw all the time and i'm just trying to explore all the options because there's just so many things so many things to do like in art do you want to do watercolor do you want to do pencil drawings digital art you know portraits um uh you know what kind of genre do you want to do do you want to do just people animals places um so many different styles to explore so many things to do and i just like i just feel i can never just get enough of making art and i've improved so much as an artist and um i feel like i've only like just begun um it was only like when i started high school that i really started to get serious as i could about my art and in middle school i was able to grow as an artist and make all this progress and you know try all these new things and now in high school I was able to just expand myself into digital art and try painting um, on canvases and just going beyond my sketchbook and now you know there's so much more to do so much more to do so um yeah that's my art journey and how I started drawing <laughs> all right well that's it <laughs> thank you for watching I'll see you next week subscribe bye bye